101.8 WCRFM. It is a station with more for Wolverhampton. Now, I'm kindly joined this afternoon with urban street photographer Gareth Dukes. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hey, now, I've just been looking at your website, the Gareth Dukes website, and you really are capturing and fusing humanism with urban and commercialism as a photographer. Can you explain how your, how your photographs, well, get given birth to? What happens? What is this process, Gareth? Thanks very much. Well, I wander through the streets trying to catch chance encounters and random moments. None of my photos are set up or constructed. I just wander around and try and look for beautiful juxtapositions of people and images. Maybe sometimes it's an advertisement, sometimes it's graffiti, sometimes it's a piece of urban sculpture, urban furniture. Now, you have a classic one from 2007 with, I don't know if it was set at a football ground. I mean, it gives you a sense of you're not quite sure where it is, but the caption, sorry, is underneath it. Somebody's being sort of backed up the wall by, you know, the 5 shall we call them? And, uh, and you've captured <laughs> the look on the guy's face. Now, you can't make that or construct that kind of stuff up, can you? No, when you look at it, it is quite an intense photograph. Like he says, it looks like it's at a football ground. It was actually taken just in a, like, a city centre, like a, just a general urban environment. The guy had actually just been having like a little little argument with his girlfriend. I think it was about the shopping or something like that. Maybe she spent too much money. And the police seemed to intervene unnecessary. And I've just managed to capture the... That moment. The of, moment between, yeah. Well, this is it. This is the beauty of the art within your photography. It's very free-flowing. It's not constructed. You're not even thinking about the lighting, but your lighting on most of it is absolutely perfect. So let's talk a little bit about the politics. When you travel, you are an international photographer. It's not that you just capture these, these people on your own terms, in your own area, because you are a Dudley boy, aren't you? Yes, yes. So... Let's talk about when you visited Athens recently and the correlation between Athens and Northern Ireland and the urban art there. Can you tell us a little yeah, bit I've about that? Yeah, I've done a lot of travelling. I, I spent, I travelled to Greece five times between 2013 and 2014. I found it quite an interesting place, you know, very vibrant, very exciting, especially with the uh, underground art scene. There seemed to be a very strong movement going on due to all the political turmoil that was going on. There was a lot of, like, underground art movements, a lot of art groups uh, merging together, uh, showing a lot of solidarity between art groups and uh, the relation to politics, the situation that was going on in the country politically. Now, funny you should say that. Uh, I recently visited the Belfast Troubles exhibition up at the gallery here in Wolverhampton, and I spoke to a, a local Belfast artist called Kim Mahorney, and she said you either got creative or you got involved. So I guess it's an artist's way of interpreting a very difficult political time and uh, trying to make some sense out of that. Yes, a lot of my work is trying to make sense of what's going on, to try and get an understanding of how images and how uh, especially photographs are used to try and persuade people in especially political times where there's a lot of political up upheaval going on across Europe. What, what's coming up for you then, Gareth? Now, I, I know you've captured things internationally. I know you've got your website, but you've got a little exhibition, haven't you? So people can actually really get interactive with your work. Yeah, I've actually got an exhibition coming up just in a couple of weeks' time at the Asylum Gallery. It's opening on the 27th of February. I think that's Clifford Street, isn't Clifford it? Clifford Street. Yeah. 21 Clifford Street, Chapel Ash. Now, we've had many artists in through from the asylum, from the curator, Corinne Salal. Now, how did you meet Corinne? Was it with a pop-up shop by any chance? I've actually been running a free arts workshop at High Oak Community Centre in Dudley. And Corinne popped along to see some of the amazing work that we was doing down there. And we had a little chat and we've got some international students working down there, some art students and EVS students. And he offered us for exhibition because he saw the great work we was doing down there. So over the last few weeks, he's been supporting us and helping us create and organise this exhibition. It's all about being linked in, especially as an artist. Now, Gareth, talk to us a little bit. How did you, well, why did you want to establish this international group and how did it come about, please? It's from, as I say, being in places like Greece and Spain through doing projects uh, that have been sent on with, through my organisation, High Oak, and seeing how organisations are, are coming together, how people are coming together and showing solidarity and 
showing new movements with all these problems going happening so, happening in Europe. I just wanted to try and come together and. So you thought you'd instigate a little group, mm. home group over here in the Black Country in Wolverhampton in Dudley itself. Now, how many different countries have you got attending these workshops? At the moment, we've got six different people from six different countries. We get a lot of homegrown artists come along, and then we've got people from Spain, Turkey. Austria, Germany and Poland. Well, you really are keeping it live and you really are keeping it real, Mr. Jukes. And I do suggest if anybody hasn't seen your work, then they log on to your website. Come on, give us your address of your website. It's www.garethjukes.com. Gareth, I look forward to your exhibition. So it's next Friday, the 27th from 6 till 10 p.m. Wonderful. Gareth, thank you so much for taking the time out to talk to WCRFM. And just one one little bit uh, more of a chat about the Twiggy picture, because that's quite infamous on your website, isn't it? Yeah. I just uh, captured that moment, that, that chance encounter one day in Wolverhampton. It's a juxtaposed image between Twiggy, the supermodel. As, she, as you can see, she's quite aging in the background. And a beautiful blonde girl that was walking past. That's she's, not too dissimilar to Twiggy. That, yeah, she looks quite a spitting image. Maybe I, 20 years, 30 yeah, years younger, 30 years 40. Younger, 30, yeah, I quite, I quite <laughs> like the relation um, as she's... Could twi- be a mother. Yeah, could be a mother. And Twiggy's quite cheerful in the background and the reality of Yeah, this, she's on the billboard. Yeah, the, the woman's the, walking past. The, this young girl's a bit, bit more sad, a bit mundane. Maybe it's the melancholy of uh, modern day life. Oh, I like your thinking. And then, in the background, again, you've pictured the 5 cruising by. Just just another chance and encounter, another chance with his moment. Car. And where are his eyes, Gareth? Where are they? I think he's Are they going, on Twiggy or yeah, are they on the other girl? He's, on, he's eyeing up the young blonde. <gasps> so you caught him. You caught him in action. Naughty, naughty. Look, <laughs> it's all there for you to see. That website again, please, Gareth. www.garethdukes.com. That's wonderful. Thanks for taking the time out to talk to WCRFM. You're welcome. Thank you.